Pete and Lees, we were talking about what you can get on telly at the moment because we're all watching far more telly than we we would if we were actually able to leave the house. Uh, Pete and Leeds unsolicited says, I'd love to see Hotel Babylon on the iPlayer. Please pass on oh, to the yeah. powers that be. We, I've got to be honest, Pete, we haven't got, you know, we like to think that we have a direct line to the top. I'm not entirely sure we do. But if there is anything, you see, my husband's sort of, well, not issue at the moment. He, he would like to see more really old vintage classic stuff. But I'm quite happy. There's lots Ooh. of... What? The, tr- the, the tripods, do you remember that? Oh, that used to terrify be, me, yeah, the tripod. That was Saturday tea time. Not at, not at a time like this. I don't, uh, I don't oh, think yeah, like I suppose not. Tripods <laughs> constitutionally. <laughs> honestly, I used to find that really, really scary. Yeah. The big tripod feet. Glory to Kel, I mean, uh, aliens, not now. <laughs> if there's anything in particular that you think, I mean, Hotel Bobolon is great, to be fair, Pete. I do miss that. Um, anything that you think would work on there? You know, just... C- Yes, uh, thank you very much to John. Uh, in very exciting news, Ron Williams says all episodes of Tripods are available on YouTube. Oh, well, if you do, go and watch all episodes of Tripod on YouTube. You know, my friend Steve, who was, was in yes. I, I have slightly more detail. Uh, he was a villager. He was dressed all in black. That it? That's it. Okay. So you could try that. Yeah, good luck spotting If you're not bothered, I was going to say, yeah, if you're struggling to follow the plot, you'll, uh, you, you can sort of do a, a bit of hide and seek. Uh, that, right. Which is going to be difficult, I think. It is. Uh, quarter to five, so we expect the government press conference in 15 minutes or so. It'll be taken. That can only signal one thing. Uh, the tripods are back. We have we have tripod news, everybody. Uh, we spoke about the show earlier on. Many of us would love to see it back on... Uh, television and through the magic of live radio, we're now joined, I'm pleased to say, by the man who starred in it in Series 2, Robin Hayter. Hello, Robin. Hello. Hi. Good evening. What a pleasure to talk to you. And it's, uh, I saw the name and I've Googled you and I absolutely recognise you from the series of Tripods. You played Fritz Eager, is that right? Yeah, that's correct, yeah. Great to talk to you. How, how did you hear that we were talking about the show? Uh, well, actually, a, a great friend of mine told me that uh, you've been discussing it today and she said you should text them. I'm sure they'd love to hear from you. Right. Well, marvellous. And, and here we are. So what, what are your memories of the show? Well, uh, it was fantastic. I mean, it's a long time ago, of course. But um, uh, no, it was an incredible break for me. I'd read the um, books as a child. So, um, you know, it was about sort of 10 or 15 years later after I'd read them as a kid and went for the audition and got the series. So I was absolutely chuffed. And to say there were, there were only two series, wasn't there? The, the, we, we've, we've already established today that they didn't film the third, but it had a, an effect on a generation of people who watched it that, that's still with them today, which is fairly um, unusual for, for a, 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 you know, a, essentially a sci-fi drama. Yeah, that's right. I mean, we had, um, we had a fan club at the time, I remember, at the very beginning, uh, out uh, towards Twickenham, and many of those people... Years later, kind of reformed another uh, fan club online, and they were sort of, you know, really into it. But apart from them, I'm always meeting people that that remember the series, and uh, it was very, very poignant in in their lives. I'm told you can still. What we we were trying to find out where you could still watch it. DVDs are available, but you can watch it on YouTube as well. I, I, I'm led to believe. Do you ever have a look? Have a look back, Robin. Uh, yeah, I do. Yeah, I mean, I I, I like looking at my old work, <laughs> uh, but it, it's uh, it, no, it's a great show. So I, I look now and again. I mean, I've been to a few reunions, kind of. Um, I kind of was invited over by some uh, German fans a couple of years ago, and went over to Germany and uh, had a kind of a little mini convention. And I've also did a kind of. Um, Years ago, I did a memorabilia thing, you yeah. know, where I went and signed a few pictures and things. So, although it was a sort of minor sci fi series compared to, uh, you know, the A team was on the other side, by the way, by the time I got around to it. So, you can see there was a lot of competition. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, up against the A team. That's, that's a tough gig, isn't it? So, look, the, the, the huge, giant tripods terrorizing Earth. Um, and how did it end? Because there's somebody saying they, they were taken out away on a family visit on the very last episode and even now still wonder how Tripods ended. So what was the conclusion, Robin? Uh, you mean uh, it, what happened after that? You mean because people it was left in the air, you mean? Yeah, well, I don't know. I know if you, Series 2 was the last one, wasn't it? So where did where was, where was were we left with the Tripods? Well, we were left at uh, the very end of the Series 2. I seem to remember that uh, my character stayed in inside the tripod city, Fritz, 
And uh, Will has has been out and he's he's got in touch with his old friend uh, Beanpole. And uh, what they've managed to do is they've they've managed to trek back to the White Mountains, which their former camp was for the free men. And they get there and you now the tripods have attacked it and it's all completely mm. been destroyed. But and it... uh, they're totally disheartened. And, and the last line I seem to remember in the script that, that uh, John Shackley says is, uh, was it all for nothing? And of course, then they, they pulled the series. So it was kind of <laughs> ironic. How thor thoroughly depressing. And no wonder people have been having nightmares ever since, I presume, uh, because there were books originally. The third series would have resolved it all and, and the tripods would have been uh, would have been beaten. Well, actually, I'd already had uh, discussions and well, already heard that they were going to be doing another series, series three, back then. And I was very excited because I thought we were going to, I mean, some of it's set in Panama and stuff like that. Uh, and, uh, you know, there was a whole story and my character went on into the third series as well. So it was a fantastic chance for me and to consolidate what I'd already done with series two. So it was a, you know, a bit of a bummer, really, to say the least. Yeah. Uh, not, not, you know, not only for the fans, but also for, <laughs> for the actors and all the production people and the directors and, you know, the fabulous directors on it, Bob Blagden and before him Chris Barry and, well, and it, the producers. You know, we were everywhere, everyone was pretty, pretty fed up, really. Well, was, yeah, it was an outrage they didn't finish it, but, but at least the, the memories live on. And, and I've got to say, Robert, as well, when we were asking you how you heard about it, you said a good friend of yours. Uh, yeah. you, she's texted the programme to say um, she's a big fan of the show. It's Jack Whitehall's mum who was that's listening. Right. She was listening that's to the right. show and then rang you. Yeah, that's right. And said, get on. Oh, well, very, uh, hello, hello to her and thank you very much for listening to the programme. And, and Robin, well, what a pleasure to speak to you. Because we never know when we... I don't, when we start this show, Robin, we just go off on tangents and we would never have predicted we'd be talking about tripods today and <laughs> we'd be interviewing you, the star <laughs> of the show. So it's brilliant that Jack's mum was listening and that you've come on the programme. We're really grateful. Well, you know, it's my great pleasure. And if anything, to kind of encourage people at this time to kind of, you know, just uh, share some good times if we can uh, yeah. within the limitations that we, we have. That's it. Uh, it's we, we, we still need a smile on our face on occasions, don't we? Great to speak to you, Robin. Yeah, likewise. Thank you very much, Robin Hayter. They're the star of Tripod. You see, when we came on the radio at four o'clock, neither you nor I predicted that by 20 to seven, we'd have <laughs> rediscovered the Tripods. We could get, it's quite we, impressive. If we had another hour, we could get it recommissioned. Oh, we probably could. We'd um, get it on iPlayer at least. We always say, don't we, privately, we never know who's listening. So there we are. That's interesting. Jack Whitehall's mum was I listening and then put I us in touch that. with Robin. I'm sure she's been in touch oh, before. That's very good. Hello, by the that. way. Uh, sure right. Marvel. So who, where, where might we go tomorrow? I don't know. <laughs> that's the beauty <laughs> of this. Who knows? That's the beauty of this programme. Very unrehearsed. Right. It is 6.41.